Hey everybody, it's BC here at the Big Castle, and welcome back to the creative side of Planet Nomads. I'm kidding, I'm not a big castle. I'm actually in a little buggy that I made that's actually inside the castle. Uh, it's, a, it's a little thing I threw together, it's almost like a little Formula One. Oop, almost hit the replicator there. Uh, the reason why I built this is uh, something I wanted to do for a little while that might actually work with the way the wheels work in the game. Now, if you don't know how the wheels actually work, uh, the g wheels in this game don't work like most wheels. Uh, if we take a look at, uh, yeah, fold it alt, that's why the camera changed. But if you look at the wheels, you, know, you see the directional arrows going around the circumference of it. Uh, those, if they're touching the surface, actually tell the game that when you push, f when you push forward to actually move the vehicle in that direction and same with backwards and all that stuff so now with stuff like this it is theor theoretically possible to have vehicles that climb walls as long as you got something on the other side because it's not it's not pushing the vehicle the, the game engine is actually updating the position position of the vehicle yes i'm about as good as the commentator as i am a race car driver which says a lot if you've seen any of the vehicles i've driven but anyways, uh, something I wanted to do today is sort of like a little stunt driver racetrack action set, sort of like jumps and loops and stuff like that. Uh, I know these we don't get the best of speed with the vehicles, but maybe, maybe some things will work, some things won't. Uh, it will be a multi-piece set, so when you go up download from the workshop, you can download different... Uh, different sections of it if you want so you don't have to download the whole thing it's going to be like a modular thing so you could have a section there section there section there or in this case let's say you start off with a, a loop you go through jumping through a quote unquote flaming ring and all sorts of stuff uh, you'll also find this little beauty on there too uh, i'm sure some other people have built better but for 10 minutes it's pretty good <laughs> what can i say anyway uh, so the first one I want to try, and actually have this for uh, scaling purposes, uh, let's actually try a standard jump. So what I'm going to do is get my hotbar ready, like so. So the first one we're going to try is first we're going to see how well of a jump it can do. So let's place that way. I don't know why that was even rotated in that direction to begin with, because I haven't used any ceiling panels yet. So let's go for a color here. I'll make this one blue just because. Uh, so the way I'm gonna, I want to build this is I want to start with a foundation. The foundation is just going to be, or not foundation, ceiling tile. Uh, it's just a place for it to actually be built. Uh, when you go and uh, build these in your world or blueprint them, you want to have them in the ground so you actually get a proper transition of the vehicle. So from here, uh, just to get up onto the ramp, we're going to take a number four, which is the, the long slope. And that just means that, th that when we blueprint it, that this section has to be in the ground. So the, you can actually get up there without have, having to hit that. Uh, I'm sorry. Lip. Yes. Why is it the smallest words are always the hardest to remember? Okay, and why that's rotated that way, I have no idea. So then we're going to start here. And now I want to make sure that I have enough room for the ramp. Or the slope so I'm gonna have two block cap gonna go here and I probably will have to expand this depending on the width of the vehicles I'll probably make it a little wider just because not everything's gonna be small but you never know some someone might have something smaller someone might have something bigger in fact that's the wrong button let's bring it over and have a look at it and just see how it fit, how it lines up I probably will have to go a little wider. Yeah, so for this one, it's got to be at least three. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll make it four wide. So let me do that. Uh, like so. I just had to put the red down the middle, just give it a little bit of variety. Now, I'm not going to go straight with the ramps again. I'm going to start sloping it up a little bit more. So from here, we're going to start going up to uh, the half slopes. And that's not what I want. No, it's never what I want. Of course not. Uh, There's no point in having hot key, hotkeys if you don't actually look at the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to keep the block count down on this. So from here, we're going to go with uh, a 5. 
And I think... Maybe we'll give that a shot. See how that does. So, uh, for going... Just... In the two middle here, the two blocks that are here are going to be what's actually holding this thing together. I'm going to keep everything else just one layer. Uh, like I said, to keep the block count down. So, this is going to go up like so. And then same here. And then I got to repeat that for the rest of it and I'll bring you back and we'll give it a shot okay I decided to take the ramps out and just go with small blocks all the way because the ramps are actually creating a long uh, more shallow slope so it's going up and then down a bit and then back up so we went with this I have no idea if this is gonna work uh, you know it's not like I actually test these things before I go and record I'm thinking they're gonna work but hey I'm sure that's <laughs> half the reason why you people watch me right Anyway, let's see what this does. I got a replicator in my way, that's fine. And... Yeah. There's a reason why I blueprinted this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way to get rid of it except for... Uh, why can't we have Control X? If we do in uh, some other game. Uh, hmm, I gotta move this thing over now. Oh, 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 idea. If I remember how to actually control the thing, we'll find out in a section here. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Just use this to pick it up and move it out of the way. And off it goes into space. Hmm, it'd be nice if I remember the key bindings on this. Let's see what's. Do, 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 do. Trying to remember how to open and close the claw now. No, there's all the controls. Yeah, I know how to find out. Let's go in here. Uh, let's check rotors. Home and end. Alright. Aha. And that'll be fine. All right, let's see if we can pick this thing up and move it out of the way. Funny, I've never actually used this thing. I don't think I have strafing on this, do I? No, I don't. All right, uh, go down. Oh, what do you know? It actually works. Oh, it doesn't fly too well, though. Yeah, I think it's because uh, the rotor's on there. Aha! Oh, I was flying straight. Anyway, let's dump that down if we can. There we go. We can fly away. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Okay, let's blue bridge another one. Or maybe... No, I'm not going to build it flip that. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, this time I'm going to try full suspension. I actually have it set low just to make it look aerodynamic. I want to get this like a low rider. I was going to actually place the blocks one block down, but and then we have ground clearance issues. Alright, it's all purring like a kit, ready to go. And we'll swing her around. I'm wondering if maybe it's just too heavy. Maybe I should have more wheels on this. Maybe I should uh, take the spoiler off. Could be the problem. I oh, know I can always put put a glitch drive on here. That'll do the trick. So you get that bounce. And same results. I don't know if this is going to work now or not. Just because we don't have the speed. Reset. Okay, let's try this again. So I decided to just go with the, the lower slope on the ramp. Uh, I was actually able to write this one. I was going to start piling them up there, but I didn't need to. And uh, yeah, I stripped this thing down to nothing. Uh, I can't see the actual weight on there. Uh, it's about a ton now. I think it was about 3,500 earlier. 
So we should get should get some better better speed. Definitely. Okay, I know I probably didn't need to put all these batteries on here, but hey. Need juice, right? So let's see if this thing will actually get airborne. Yeah, we went five feet. Yeah. Speed on these definitely could be better. And yes, they are set to speed, not torque. Uh, I wonder if I could, if a lightning the load would even work a little more. I definitely got to get the speed and the right angle, <laughs> right angle of attack. Okay, you know what? Let's be smart about this. We'll blueprint it and place it somewhere else. So then I can also show how uh, to place it. Basically, you just want to have it going into the ground until the, the box goes yellow. If it's green, it means it's not touching the ground. If it's yellow, it means it is. You can just place it like so, and then you have your transition. So let's see if this will actually work. I have absolutely no idea. Already, uh, my idea for this episode is not looking the greatest. But let's give it a shot anyways. I know we're not dealing with high-speed vehicles right now, but this might actually work. It almost dukes a hazard. Not quite, though. Yeah, we're not getting the speed out of this, I don't think. Basically, this is what it is right now, and I don't think... Uh, well, then again, though, it's kind of realistic. You know, the stuff you see in movies, that's not realistic. You know, you have to be drive, uh, driving pretty fast to send a car flying two, two kilometers off a ramp, for instance. It just loses power going up. Can I re write this? No, I can't. Hmm. Well... Okay, I'm back after a missed recording or two later. Uh, I don't know if it's OBS not recognizing my key. I usually have this little bit of a thing where I make sure OBS has main focus. That's my recording program. And then I switch to the game to make sure that it recognizes the key press because sometimes it doesn't recognize my hotkeys for to start and stop recording. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did hit it. I even double-checked and hit it twice and apologized for... Uh, me repeating myself in case I wasn't recording, but needless to say, it lost the footage. Or it never got recorded, I should say. But anyways, uh, needless to say, even stripped down bare bones, it's not getting enough speed. It just doesn't have enough power to get up the ramp. So we're going to do something I normally don't do, and I actually had a little bit of fun doing this already. I might have to change the day again pretty quick. But we're going to use the glitch drive. Uh, I originally heard, from, heard about it from Junkasaurus, uh, who was like back in the Kickstarter days, like way back when this game was alpha and he actually was the first to, person to discover flight in the game and make the make it to the moon and all that stuff and it's been adopted by a few other people. It's been called the Who Drive, the Junk Drive, the Glitch Drive, the Wheel Glitch. I just call it the Glitch Drive. I'm just gonna go with the Glitch Drive myself. But the way this works, and I was talking about this already, about how the, the, the wheels uh, the game actually looks for the yellow arrows and basically tells the game, okay, so when you step on the gas, the arrows pointing that way, the vehicle goes that way. So that's why when you have your wheels uh, backwards, it'll spin or do stupid things or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this, I think. Sure. Uh, yeah, so neat. what happens is basically the, the, the game engine is... Uh, updating the vehicle's position it's not moving it it's just updating it in the world of the game so the workaround and this gets you limitless speed too is you take a wheel and you have to make sure that the arrows are actually touching a block now it doesn't have to be like this i'm doing this for symmetry uh it has to be around the center of mass i do believe that if you have one wheel uh, if you have it off center, that'll cause you to spin. I haven't experimented with this too much, but this one's in the wrong spot because the wheel the yellow arrows have to actually touch, like so. So now you gotta also make sure that the arrows are pointing the right the right direction. So this one's pointing backwards, so I gotta say, change my direction to the same thing going backwards. Now right now it's not gonna do anything because it's not powered. So what I've done is I've already actually done this. I've 
set the key binding on this to toggle the switchboard on Y. And that's just basically speed boost. So it's turned off right now. We connected to those two. And that's all we got to do. Uh, we don't really have to adjust any of these settings. Just have to make sure that it was pointing the right way. There are some unexpected side effects by doing this. Uh, one of them just happens to be speed, or not speed. Um, uh, flight. <laughs> yes, that's that's the word. Uh, my brain was in two of the other places. Uh, I was thinking about the jumps and all that stuff. But I remember I got a backup save. Which I probably should have used instead of recording out there in the middle of the woods. And you're going to find out why I ended up in the middle of the woods pretty quick here if you've ever seen this. Uh, what I am going to do, and uh, I don't know if I've done this already in the previous take, but I want to detail this a little bit more. I want to take these sides out and just put some cockpit windows in here, like so. You know, get a little bit of detail and definition in my builds. You know, I boast about creativity all the time, and most of my stuff is just bare bones garbage. And get a day back, put that away. So yeah, this is the same setup. I've got the wheels already set up. This is actually the same I did before we took them for a test run. So as you can see, the switchboard is turned off. Uh, it is. Got a picture. Oh no, I didn't. I have to set that because I set that before, after I saved. Oh, let me in. Okay. So now we are in, Now when I go, you'll see the wheels actually start moving. That doesn't mean anything, they're just animations. That's all it is, is the wheels turning, it's just an animation in the game. And, I guess switch these back over to speed. Guess we're gonna need it, I tell ya. If you've seen this before, I'm sure you're laughing. Uh, but anyways, so now that gets us a little bit better on the speed. You know, we're, we're cruising along. So I'm going to turn around here. I want to see if I can actually hit that ramp. Uh, the far one. Alright. So we're on. And we engage a drive. And off we go. And I completely missed the ramp. But we could fly. Unfortunately, we can't control it. My god, if we don't have block damage, I tell you. Look at that, we're doing 400, 500 kilometers an hour. And this thing flies really good for a Formula One racer. Yeah, I'm on a solid state drive, so <laughs> things take a little while to load up. I know we don't play around with this, but uh, there it is. Now, it can be controlled, just don't hold the button down. If you're worried about crazy amounts of speed, then don't do that. Uh, this tends to float a little bit too, so sometimes you have to turn the drive off or try using backing up to actually fix yourself. But uh, there it is. Uh, that is the the jump drive, the glutes drive, the exploring physics. It's not a bug. It's actually, believe it or not, intentional. Not to be used in this actual way, but you get the idea. But anyways, I think it's a good place to call it. Uh, definitely got uh, some good air, air time on this. And it's funny, this build is supposed to be about building ramps and jumps and all sorts of things for a vehicle like this. And it ends up being about the vehicle itself. And yes, is that a rock or a tree? What did I hit? I guess I hit a tree. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'll see you next time in the creative side of Planet Nomads. Later. Hey, I can see my base from here. I think. Uh...